let's say you've written some notes and you want to share these with someone or write them up. Perhaps you've used Obsidian and all the information that you want to include is spread across various notes and you definitely don't want to share your entire collection of notes. While it is possible to use Obsidian's include feature and combine your notes, you maybe want to be able to reference some parts of the included notes and have a nice looking PDF export. This is what TechNotes allows you to do. The idea is to be able to write notes in a way that makes them extremely easy to export and have this export be written as if you've just written the document from scratch. TechNotes uses LaTeX to typeset documents. Originally, I only supported writing notes in LaTeX, but I recently added Markdown support. In the introduction, you saw that it's possible to import notes directly from Obsidian and have them rendered nicely with LaTeX, and it preserves these links between documents. The main use of TechNotes is to be able to make these Obsidian-style networks of notes, but have the notes use LaTeX instead of Markdown. This means that you have access to all the typesetting features of LaTeX, like being able to use theorems and definition environments, having sensible bibliography management, and access to the full range of LaTeX math packages, not just the ones included in MathJax. All of these features are possible in Obsidian, but you have to hack around to get these working. In this video, I'll give a detailed overview of the features of TechNotes and explain how to use them. To install TechNotes, you can clone the GitHub repository. The link is in the description. You may also want to sign up to the mailing list to receive updates on any significant updates to TechNotes and information on updating to the latest version. You'll need to have some other software installed to use the software. The two main bits of software you need are a local installation of LaTeX, including PDF LaTeX for PDF rendering or make for ht for HTML rendering, as well as Python. To convert notes from Markdown to LaTeX, you'll also need to install Pandoc. Details on how to do this are explained in the wiki. Once you've cloned the repository and installed the prerequisites, you'll need to use pip to install the required Python packages. It's best practice to use a virtual environment in case you need to use other versions of the packages in another application somewhere else on your system. There is also the optional requirements that allows you to use the extra features of TechNotes, like the network view and the continuous rendering features. To make your first note, you can use the helper command new note followed by the name of the note. The name should not contain any spaces. For example, let's create a note called index. You'll see that this has done three things. The first is that it's created the file index.tech in the slipbox folder in the notes, as well as creating a documents.tech file in the notes folder. And there's also this slipbox.db file. The document file contains internet referencing information used by LaTeX to make hyperlinks between the PDFs. If you just add a .tech file to the slipbox folder, then this won't be set up correctly. Let's open the index note. To do this, you can either open the file directly or use the helper function edit to open the most recently changed file in the slipbox folder. Once we've added some text, we can render the note using the helper function render updates. This function decides whether a note needs to be recompiled based on when the notes were modified. You'll see that this has rendered the note using PDF LaTeX. The document class technote.cls contains many commonly needed LaTeX packages, as well as those that set up the internet referencing and hyperlinks. To give an example of internet referencing, I'll make a second note called another note. In this file, I'll add an example theorem and give it a label. Now we go back to index, we can reference this theorem using the command xcref. This has the same behavior as cref. The first argument is the label in the note that we want to reference, and the second argument is the note name. This is not quite the file name because of how external referencing works in LaTeX, but it is the file name in camel case. So to reference another note, we can type another note with no space and a capital A and N. If we call render updates, then you can see that in index, this file has added a reference to the theorem in the file, another note. Also in another note, there's a section where we can see that it's referenced in index. We can also use hyperlinks instead of clever references. For this, we use xhref, and as the third argument, there will be a links text. A nice feature of the LaTeX hyperlinks is that you can add inline math to the hyperlink text. If you don't add a label to the cref or href commands, then these just link directly to the notes. 
a command current doc at the top of each note as the default label for the note which is used if you don't supply one. As well as referencing other notes, we can also transclude, i.e. directly include parts of other notes. This uses the LaTeX package catch file between tags to copy the LaTeX code of another code into your note when the note is compiled. A nice feature of this is that we can use CUF directly in the note. For example, if we make a new note and transclude the previous note that we made, then we can render this note and also reference the theorem within it. You'll see that I had to render the notes twice because this is just using CUF to reference the theorem. If you only want to include part of the document, then you can add some tags following the same syntax as the whole note tags at the start and end of each document. TechNote supports BibText formatted bibliographies and uses Bibber to render the bibliography. This is done automatically with render updates, so we can just use the cite command to add a citation. TechNotes tracks the citations in each note and runs Bibber if you make a change to the citations. It may be possible to set up your text editor to run the Python commands. This means that you can use keyboard shortcuts to execute. Uh, for example, some of the helper functions like render updates and the new node commands, so you don't have to have an extra terminal window open to execute these commands. This is quite straightforward to do in Vim. For example, I've added these functions that can be called by keyboard shortcuts. It should be quite straightforward to do something similar in Visual Studio Code. You can write some or all of your tech notes in Markdown. To make a markdown note, you can use the helper function new note md. This creates a new markdown file. If the first line of a markdown file is a level 1 heading, then TechNotes will assume that you want this to be the LaTeX title. If there's no level 1 heading on the first line, then the title will be the file name of the note. Links are implemented using the Wikilink style. By default, a Wikilinks link will be interpreted as a CREF. If the Wikilink contains a pipe, then to the right of the text, this will be interpreted as the hyperlink text. Labels can be referenced using the hashtag or pound symbol. The way to define theorem environments in Markdown is to add a level 3 heading. The preceding paragraph will then be the theorem text. At the moment, proof environments are implemented using emph proof and emph qed to indicate the end of the proof. This allows you to write multi-paragraph proofs. At the moment, you have to add both the proof and the qed, but in the future, the qed text may be optional, and then if it's not included, we'll only render the first paragraph as a proof. Citations work by using square brackets and the at symbol, followed by the citation key, and it uses the same bibliography as we included before. At the moment, two steps are required to compile Markdown with LaTeX. The first is to convert the Markdown to LaTeX. To do this, we use the syncmd helper function. This just makes LaTeX formatted versions of the Markdown notes, and so these can then be rendered as before using render updates. Because these are stored as just LaTeX notes after SyncMD is run, you have access to all the referencing and transclusion features as if you had written the notes in LaTeX to begin with. A great feature of tech notes is the ability to easily make drafts of papers and longer form documents. You can make a new project using the new project command. I'll create one called example project. You can see that this is made a projects folder and in it is the example project. This is a tech file, but it's set up so that we can transclude our note files. For example, I'll transclude a couple of the documents that we've made earlier in this video. You can, of course, add any extra text to this project to write linking passages between the notes. 
Tech notes is designed assuming that each of your notes will be fairly short and focus on a key idea. Then, when it comes to writing something up, it should be very quick to select the ideas that you want to include and produce a draft. Once you have written a draft, the helper function export project can be used to produce a standalone LaTeX draft. Thank you for watching the overview of TechNotes. For more information and details on how to get started, go to the GitHub repository. Please consider signing up to the mailing list and subscribing to the channel for future updates on the project.